mandating vaccines like this, like they're doing in France to enable them to open up is a very sensible approach. The federal government is paying compensation to hundreds of Australians who have vaccine injuries from the COVID jab. If you're a customer going into a store, you want to know that the people working there are vaccinated. Some of the COVID injuries include life altering heart inflammation. If you're in a restaurant, you wanna know that the people sitting alongside you, breathing in the same air as you, have also been vaccinated, damaged capillaries and autoimmune disorders. And I hope my company, News Corp, mandates vaccines for employees. There are also thousands who've applied for compensation and are waiting to hear back. Joining me now to discuss is former Deputy Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Nick Coatesworth. Nick, great to see you. You know, the, I, I suspect the majority of Australians will get vaccinated and there, there will be a strong um, public view um, that those who choose not to get vaccinated um, uh, need to, um, uh, there needs to be some sort of um, in incentive stick perhaps um, through the current programs, including no jab, no pay. And we need to crack on and get those, uh, get those uh, claims assessed. There's no reason in 2023 that we shouldn't have that all done. Yeah, and there are thousands who say that uh, they are waiting to hear whether their request for compensation has been approved. Mandating vaccines is a very sensible approach.